Hello and welcome to my NTC Reviews channel. Today, as promised, I am going to be going over my process for migrating over to the Helium network for my mobile cell phone service. I had recently made a video on the Helium Wi-Fi hotspot and helped to build out the Helium network by having one of these hotspots. And I stated that I was waiting for my current contract with my cell phone provider to terminate or to end or to expire so that I could go ahead and switch over to Helium Mobile and give that a try. So as promised, here is that video with me sharing my experience with you. First off, just like you, I was a bit skeptical. Here's an unlimited uh, plan for $20 plus tax nationwide. While the current plan that I was using that I thought was pretty good was about three to four times that price. So the level of, hey, uh, what am I getting myself into here was kind of high when I was switching over, especially leaving the company that I was with, which was actually T-Mobile. And I had had uh, that contract for well over 30 years, uh, going back to uh, being with Nextel, from Nextel to Sprint, Sprint to T-Mobile, everybody kind of gobbling each other up. Finally ended up with T-Mobile. So after all of these years, let's just say there was a bit of panic in the process when I was uh, switching over to this relatively unknown mobile service provider. But I've been around Helium for a while, seen what they've been building, seen them through the highs and uh, especially through the lows. And guess what? They kept on building. Uh, they kept on sharing information. And those of us that were interested were sitting there on the Discord channels, on X, and gathering that information and trying to digest that information. And at the same time, what really sealed the deal was being able to participate in this Helium network or the People's Network by utilizing different IoT hotspots, Wi-Fi hotspots, devices that run on the Helium network and really seeing, you know what, man, there is something here. Fast forward now to Helium Mobile and finally time for me to switch over. Once again, there was that skepticism, but there was also a good amount of faith because of uh, being involved and exposed to the Helium network over the last four years. So my process, uh, getting a bit detailed, I ended up picking up a Samsung S24 Ultra phone and I actually bought it from Samsung. So I was able to bypass the larger carriers offers and once again, end up being tied to a two year contract in order to pay off that phone, which would constitute ending that contract. So I wanted to avoid that, especially going with the Helium mobile network, ended up going through Samsung, ended up getting a better deal than any of the uh, big providers would have given me anyway. And at the same time, got an unlocked phone and figured, you know what, if this Helium Mobile thing doesn't work out, I could always just switch over to anybody else, especially since Helium Mobile doesn't have a contract. You're just paying month to month. So very low risk, and that's why I ended up going with these options. Now I had three phone numbers on my account, mine, my wife's, and my mom's. And I wanted to switch all three of them over to Helium Mobile. So a few things to keep in mind before even uh, contemplating or downloading the app in order to switch over to Helium Mobile. Your phone needs to be unlocked. Obviously, your contract with your current mobile provider needs to be up or expired or let's just say non-existent. And if you plan on porting or bringing your current phone number over to Helium Mobile, then you're gonna need to have your existing account number for your current mobile provider and you're also going to need your transfer code or transfer pin. And in my case, that pin was the pin that I created in order to be able to access my account, whether it was via the app or online, or even calling in for customer service. It's usually a four, two, eight, 12 digit pin, depending on your provider. And you're going to need that information in order to set up your Helium Mobile account. The other thing to keep in mind is if your phone is able to accept eSIMs. That was a big deal, uh, especially for me. I had two phones, one being this new one and my wife's phone that worked with eSIMs. But my mother's phone being, let's say, a less expensive phone did not work with eSIMs. So in that case, when it came time to the process of switching over to Helium Mobile, my phone, my wife's phone was able to switch over painless, no issues whatsoever. As far as my mom's phone, I actually had to have Helium send me over a physical SIM chip in order to install in my mom's phone since her phone was not eSIM capable. 
So keep this in mind. Helium on their Helium mobile website has a list of mobile devices that do work with the eSIM, but best bet, and to make it foolproof, be sure to check out your specific model, go onto their website, go onto the manufacturer's website, and confirm whether or not it does accept eSIMs. That bit of information can save you a bunch of time and some headaches throughout this Helium mobile migration process. So if the criteria that I just mentioned is good to go, and you have all of it handy as far as that information, then you can go ahead and download the Helium mobile app and begin the process of setting up your Helium mobile account. Everything is very straightforward, especially if you have the information that I had stated previously, your PIN and your contract number and your current account number for your provider. Setting up the app is fairly simple. All the explanation is very much right there in the app with various links that you could cl uh, click on if you do get confused in a certain area and not really sure what they're asking for. So Helium did take a lot of the guesswork out of this and simplifying the process and I'm sure going forward it's just going to become easier and easier as they get more input shore up more of their customer support and of course keep growing as a company now porting over the number or bringing my existing number over to Helium Mobile as I was going through the process took a couple minutes uh, basically as I was going through it in the app itself it stated hey we'll let you know within the next 24 hours or whatever the case may be and probably about a minute later I received another email saying, hey, your number's good to go. It's been ported over and go ahead and continue the rest of the setup process via the Helium mobile app. Now, during the setup process, it does ask if you do have a promo code or a referral code. So if you need a referral code, obviously, it'd be great if you do utilize mine. I'll put it up here on the screen. I'll also put it in the description. So if you do utilize that, hey, I appreciate it. And then once you do sign up, you'll have your own referral code that you can go ahead and give out to friends and family. Now, as I mentioned previously and with my previous re review, having the Wi-Fi hotspots is what helps to provide that Helium coverage and actually building that Helium network. If you're in an area that does not have the Helium mobile coverage, there is a backup. And at this case right now, there is T-Mobile backing it up and a few other bigger carriers that are going to be added relatively soon from uh, what I hear through the channels. Be ensure that there is ample coverage in your area uh, with the Helium network is great, but once again, there is also backup. And the other thing that I would recommend is if there isn't Helium mobile coverage in your area, then that is a great opportunity for you to earn some mobile coins by installing and setting up your own Helium Wi-Fi hotspot. Once again, I have the previous video that I mentioned on going over the Helium Wi-Fi hotspot. And if you're interested in that, the information will be in the description so you can check that video out. Now, once you are done with the installation process and your number is ported over, you can enable the Helium mapping, which now as you utilize your phone, you're helping Helium or the Helium network find out where it does need more or better coverage by walking around with your phone and enabling that information to be sent to Helium. And in return, you earn mobile coins that you can use for whatever cryptocurrency needs and you can also utilize to pay your Helium mobile phone plan. So as you can tell, there's a lot of cool, exciting things when it comes to this Helium mobile network. I've had uh, cell phones for quite a few decades now and I never had any that actually paid me to utilize the service. Another feature that Helium Mobile added was a group plan. So once you are set up, let's say you wanted to add, in my case, I would want to add my wife and my mom to my group plan. There is a section there in the mobile app where it's a group plan. You'll click on it. Basically, you'll send an email to that person and they'll just follow through and they'll be added to your group plan. So now if you wanted to just have one bill and you're the one that's paying that bill as opposed to three individual bills, whoever is in charge of that group plan will have access to pay that bill, simplifying the process, especially for families or even uh, small businesses. As I alluded to early, earlier, this is a nationwide plan uh, only available in the USA, but what Helium does offer is an international plan. So now this international plan is $15 a month. And I think there's about 106 countries last I read that are part of the international where you will get service. So basically the majority of the world or the majority of the places that you probably do want to travel to, you'll be able to access and have the exact same seamless experience that you have here in the United States while you are traveling abroad. 
once again fifteen dollars a month fifteen dollars for 30 days so that's a great feature especially for those that travel often and we're worried that they might have lost some perks or are going to lose some perks by not having that international coverage via helium well now you don't have to worry about it and the other cool thing about it is this is all done via the app so you don't have to call anybody you don't have to notify anybody you just go to the app click on a couple buttons pay to fifteen dollars you're good for 30 days if you need more than those 30 days you just come back after 30 days and just extend that international package and you're good to go nice simple easy and very secure after all it is a decentralized network which is one of the big bonuses for many of us that are part of the helium mobile network now i've been using the helium mobile network now for about a week and i'm like probably just like you i'm on my mobile device a good part of the waking day so from phone calls to texts to internet uh, everything that you're using throughout the day i've been able to test it it has been seamless and uh sounds cliche but it's actually better than the service that i was getting previously through t-mobile i haven't had any calls dropping uh no uh, gargling noises no echoes uh the response time has been great with no latency so so far thumbs up no complaints and uh, as i mentioned earlier i was a bit worried was helium mobile going to match up to all the hype that I had been hearing about it and uh, I'm glad to confirm that it actually does. Another cool thing today is I received a text from Helium Mobile. They sent me 5,000 mobile coin and a Golden Goose NFT. I'm not really sure what the Golden Goose NFT is about. It's kind of uh, secretive right now. We'll see uh, what the future holds. Hopefully it'll add some uh, greater perks just like the ones that I've been conveying to you in this video. And it was just a random thing, it had nothing to do with me making reviews. Uh, many people have gotten this golden goose, but it's just cool. And these are the type of things that when you talk about a people's network, you know what, they really do care about the people. It's just not a uh, cliche little uh, motto or slogan. It's for real. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep utilizing my Helium Mobile and any other information or updates, uh, especially when I have an upcoming trip traveling internationally, I'll let you know how that goes. I'll add some follow-up videos. So if you are interested in this information, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all the good stuff that once again, helps me to grow this channel and continue doing what I'm doing. Thanks for your time, and I hope that you found this information useful.